Be sure to like this video by clicking the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Hi guys, it's me, Judge Vonda B, and I am bringing to you our first episode of the Support Court Podcast. I have a very special guest here with me today. As promised to you all last week when I did my live feed, I told you this is someone who has a very interesting story. Kind of gave you a little introduction into it, but I want you to hear exactly from him about his child support situation and how it not only impacted him, it impacted those around him as well. So let's jump right into it. Mr. Johnson, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. So tell us about you. Oh, so first off, my name is Myron Johnson. Uh, I'm from the Dallas area, graduated from Duncanville High School, um, worked at a local radio station here uh, in the early 2000s. So, uh, yeah, I have an interesting story about a child support. Okay, all right. Yeah. So tell us about it. You know, start us off. How did we get to the uh, child support situation exactly? Uh, well, a friend of mine, we were close friends. Uh, um, we used to mess around and we ended up having a kid together. Okay. Uh, How long did you all mess around, per se? Um, I would say for a couple of years. You know, we was friends. She went off to college, and so uh, I was still here. So we would connect during the summertime, and you know, we established a friendship before we even had a kid. And then... Um, uh, Is that what people call the lovers and friends type situation? Yeah, I guess. Okay. You know, I worked, she, like I said, I worked in radio, so she didn't, she felt like I was moving around a lot. All right. So um, we didn't do, you know, we didn't do the girlfriend, boyfriend, generic thing. And so uh, we ended up having a kid together. Uh, and I ended up getting on child support in a, in a way that uh, I don't think most people are aware of. Okay. So let me uh, back you up a little bit. The two of you were messing around. Mm -hmm. You all had a friendship. Mm -hmm. She ends up pregnant. You all have a child. Correct. At the time that the child was born, when, if at all, did you sign a um, birth certificate or did you have a DNA test? What was the story behind that? So what happened was um, after we had the baby, I claimed him on my first income tax. Okay. <clears throat> I was audited and um, so I basically had to prove that he was my son. Okay. And so one of the fastest ways to do that, if you're not already on child support, is to sign an acknowledgement of paternity. Okay. So I signed an acknowledgement of paternity. I actually drove it to Austin. They did everything in like a day. Uh, so I got the birth, birth certificate, was able to send it to my taxes, and then boom, um, you know, I got my taxes. So it was nothing to think about at that time because I had no reason to suspect that he wasn't my child when okay. I signed the acknowledgement of paternity and um, so let me ask you a question about that acknowledgement of paternity because we and you have to forgive me we abbreviate things a lot AOP okay. all right AOP, yeah. did you know at the time you signed the acknowledgement of paternity what that actually meant I, I guess I should say yes and no okay what do you mean by yes and no because at the time I felt I, I, I didn't know that it could possibly hold um, basically even if you find out that you're not the father uh that it would still hold you legally responsible for for that child and so that's the part that i i didn't know and i think the reason why i didn't know that is because i didn't go into it thinking that that what ended up happening would have happened all right uh all me right. meaning when i signed it i was 100 percent sure that my son was my son okay now, you mentioned something about another child. Mm -hmm. How did that impact what your beliefs were about the child, Myron Morell Johnson Jr., right? Mm -hmm. How did that impact your feelings about signing that acknowledgement of paternity? Uh, it, uh, in the beginning, I had my second son looked identical to me. Okay. And so there was a few people, family included, that never really believed that Myron Morell Johnson Jr. was even my child, even my grandmother. Uh, 
And so, I, but I, st I never will go take a DNA test because I felt like I wasn't going to prove to somebody else that my child is mine. That was my next question. Why didn't you act on that when someone like your grandmother, mm -hmm. I'm assuming you have a close relationship with her? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. All right. And this person is telling you this. Why not act on it? I don't know. I, you know, I don't know if it was because that was my first son and I didn't, I didn't, my mom was attached. You know, I don't know. There's a lot of emotions that go through that. You know what I'm saying? But, but the, 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 the main one was that I wasn't going to prove to my family that somebody I felt like was my child was mine. Right. He was going to be yours regardless. Regardless. Okay. Right. And so, right. and so. So this other child comes into the play, looks just like you. What was going through your mind at that time? At the time, still, just I got. I now I got two sons. So okay. I, initially, I, it was nothing. Funny thing is, is that she, which is Myron's mother, okay. is the one who kind of brought it about. She asked me a question like, it was it was something to the point that do I wish that? And my other son' name is Jai, by the way. Okay. Do I wish Jai was born first and he had, like, if he was a junior? Okay. It was just weird. It was just that is a weird question. I and you know I'm I haven't spoken to her to say what her intentions were, but it sounds like she asked that question because your second son looked just, just like, like you. Looked just like me. My family. Uh, it was at it was at uh, it was at Little Myron's uh, birthday party to be exact, because she had went out and bought both of the boys like matching outfits. Okay. And how old were the boys at this time? Four and three. Okay. Because they only like you know, not even a full year apart, but, okay. uh, or they right at a year apart. But, uh, yeah, so that happened and then they created, that started creating a little doubt. Mm. Not, not more of a, not the doubt, like I thought little mine wasn't mine, but more so like I just, I, now I had to be sure, you know. Now you had to get the DNA test. Now I had to do it. Okay. And so, uh, what happened next? Did you get the DNA testing? Not instantly. You know, it took a couple of months after that, maybe six to eight months. And then we, we eventually um, had several different conversations about uh, how we were going to go about doing a DNA test. So I asked if she would go half with me on it. And she How agreed. expensive are DNA tests exactly? Oh, man. Uh, I think we paid about two something. Okay. You know, they're probably cheaper, a little cheaper now, because it's, you know, you can go to, to the store and get them. But we went to a reputable location in Fort Worth and did it. Uh, and we waited on the results. Okay. How did you feel waiting on those results? Again, to be honest with you, I, I, don't, I didn't get anxious until, like, later on, because a week had passed. And they okay. said it take about a week. And uh, my little cousin was, you know, jokingly telling me to call and find out and I didn't want to do that. Uh, <clears throat> Is it for the same reason as to why you didn't want to do the DNA testing? You didn't want to have to prove anything to your family members? Uh, on that one I just, I, I was, I think I had got to that point where I, I was unsure. I was scared. I didn't know what, what was I going to do if it come back. If it come back mine, I'm good, you know, whatever, you know. But then I had to start thinking about what if he wasn't mine. and. That's, a, that's emotions in itself. And so uh, we finally ended up doing a DNA test. I, I went out of town for like a week to Atlanta and I came back and then uh, I got the worst news probably ever in my life. Be sure to like this video by clicking the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel.